Hi everyone, my name is Adrian. I'm the assistant grower here at Heirloom Roses. And the last time you saw this rose, my friend Ben took a hedge trimmer to this rose to clear off the bulk material. I'm gonna go in and do some aesthetic pruning. I'm going to open up the shrub, give it some more aeration. I'm also going to uh, anticipate what, where the light is gonna come in so that you get more flowers this coming spring. So one helpful acronym to guide you through the aesthetic pruning process is using the word prune, P-R-U-N-E. Ben already took care of the preparation, which is the P. I'm gonna show you the R, which is the removal of the dead, dying, and diseased wood. So here's a great example of some uh, diseased wood. Uh, you can see that the leaves are spotted um, and I'm going to remove that. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom node. There is some uh, growth out here and I'm just going to cut it right here in order to take that off. And right here we have two stems that are parallel to each other but in order to open up the bush I'm going to take this middle one off and keep these ones growing. And this is just dead plant material that doesn't need to be there. And this, the uh, stem is just too thin to work with. It won't support um, another rose on there. So I'm going to take that off. And make sure to have sterilized your garden tools beforehand so that you're not spreading disease. Uh, similar with this, we have some crossing wood and I'm gonna remove that in order to increase air circulation within the shrub. This is actually quite fun because you get to itemize each of the branches in anticipation of a healthy rose here. And here's some diseased wood. You can see that this major cane um, had a little bit of a dieback and by removing this diseased wood, you prevent any further dieback in this cane. So uh, we have th four small ones that are pencil size. Um, I'm going to take this down to this node here, and I'm gonna cut at a 45 degree angle, like that. A nice clean cut. So the 45 degree angle cut is standard uh, for water to roll off of the stem. Uh, you don't want this portion of the stem to be moist at all. You want to make sure that the cut is clean, dry, and really take a look at the nodes where they're pointing because that is where they're going to grow. Sometimes you just have to step back and see what you're working with in order to see where your next prune is going to go. This is diseased. So I'm gonna take that down. You can see all the spotting here um, from the disease. For larger canes like this, for removal, you'll really want a lopper uh, to make that clean break, 45 degree angle, and make sure these are sterilized before you um, prune your rose. So I see a major cane here with two in fa inward facing branches and one outward. I'm going to cut that down to secure the outward branch and just lop that off. I'm uh, cleaning off any of the dead material, including leaves, as they can um, promote botrytis and other uh, plant pathogens. So make sure that the surrounding area is cleared. So I know I'm using a lot of terms, but I want to encourage you to enjoy the process um, because the reward is phenomenal, especially during the springtime. So going back to the acronym, U is our next letter, which stands for understanding your plant. And in this case, we're understanding our rows and the varieties that come with that, its height, the climate it's suited for, um, when it's going to bloom, how it's going to bloom. All of those factors are really important in understanding your rose. And the next acronym letter is N, which stands for nothing left behind. What I did with this rose is I made sure I cleared up all the debris around the rose so as to prevent any uh, disease. And the last letter in the acronym is E, which stands for enjoy your rose. And if you don't have a rose, you can find us at heirloomroses.com. So enjoy.